going to give you a quick overview of snap fit joints here. These are simple snap fit joints. I've already created a box and a lid. And basically with a snap fit joint, you're here using the extrude tool with tapered angles. So I've already created a sketch. The sketch is going to be uh, two millimeters high by six millimeters wide. And I'm using the midpoint tool to center that sketch. And next I'm going to extrude by two millimeters and then give it a taper angle. And the taper angle use negative 45 degrees. Be sure to use negative because if you don't, you're gonna end up with a big trapezoid coming out of your lid. We're gonna put a fillet on this, but before that, uh, we're going to construct an, a midplane so that we can use the mirror tool and replicate that snap part to the other side of the lid. So now that we've created the midplane, I'm gonna add the fillet. And here I'm gonna use 0.4 millimeters. I'm using a Creality Ender 3 Pro with eSun PLA and a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. And that 0.4 millimeter fillet does the job. Going to mirror the snap fit part and the fillet to the other side of the lid. And after this, we're gonna work on the box. We've switched from the lid to the box and we're gonna use the sketch from the lid to make the snap fit part on the box. And if we rotate the cube here, you'll see that the sketch is offset from the box by 0.2 millimeters. And you wanna have some offset between your two parts so that they will come together nicely. So I'm selecting the sketch and I'm entering a distance of two millimeters and an extrude taper angle of negative 45 degrees again to match the snap fit on the lid. I'm going to add a chamfer of 0.6 millimeters. That chamfer will help when you're pressing the lid onto the box. Otherwise, you're gonna have a tough time getting the lid on the box. We're going to mirror the snap fit part from the box onto both sides, and we're going to include the chamfer as we mirror the snap fit part using the features. And then we're going to shell the box, and I'm going to use a two millimeter inside thickness, and that seems to print well. We'll use the section analysis tool, and if we take a look inside, you'll see the offset where we have a 0.2 millimeter offset between the lid and the box and how the chamfer and fillet come together. Again, with that 0.2 millimeter offset, it comes together nicely. It's a tight fit. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort to get it off. Uh, you may want to experiment with your offset between your objects, experiment with your fillet size, with your chamfer, and to get it dialed in with the printer and material that you use. All right, that's a quick overview of snap fit joints. Have a beautiful day.